Welcome back everyone to more of our gameplay series of X4 Foundations and business has picked up of late. Uh, we're here by the jump gate that the Xenon used in a Tikva's Choice 1 and we're aboard our carriers or one of our carriers I should say and yeah business has picked up over the last few minutes. I'm not sure if they're planning something. Uh, they've been sending uh, several small and medium sized ships through the gate so I'm just waiting for the next Zen K to come through and business will really pick up then. But of course, we've been working on some things over the last few videos, but today is a little bit different because as I've mentioned multiple times throughout this series, uh, all of these videos before today were actually pre-recorded. So all of these were recorded before any of the announcements by the developers about the Tides of Avarice DLC, when it was going to be released, that type of thing. Well, now, today is the first one that I have done since all of that has been announced. And of course, if you've been following the channel and my X4 content, then you know I recently did a video about one of the game starts available with Tides of Avarice. So here we are. We're back in that. Now, I can tell you that for our purposes right now, the Tides of Avarice DLC has been deactivated uh, because there are some things about uh, the beta version of that that can corrupt save files. So it is deactivated right now. It is not in play and we will not be using that until the official release here in our gameplay series. All right, so let's see, it looks like somebody is in the distance there that we're attacking but yeah we got this area pretty well covered at least until they start sending the big artillery through the gate so today we're going to start off by taking a, a little trip down memory lane here so it's been a, a few days for me again since i did some of this recording so we're going to take a look at where our defense station is since we were last together i mentioned that i was planning on doing some upgrades uh in here and continuing to expand it with them that's what i've been doing so we're going to take a look at that but first i have to say i am now i believe we're using release candidate 3.0 for uh version 5.0 of the game and it is has been a little bit different some of my controls have been a little bit off uh some of the clicks don't quite register some of that is a little bit off so i'm not quite sure what's causing that uh but we're going to try to work through that as best we can that's particularly been a big deal uh, working through some of the options here on the upper left hand side. All right, who are we attacking here? Mainly, I want to make sure that there's one of those Zen Ks haven't been uh, coming through. As long as it's just small and medium vessels, we'll take care of those in pretty quick order. Uh, but you can see the flak, yeah, the flak guns are definitely taking care of the fighters. All right, and yeah, we definitely got some some things going on. Let's see, what did we send through here? They sent through a minor, uh, a couple of smaller vessels. Yeah, not a lot going on there. Uh, this poor guy here decided he wanted to mess with our defense station, so let's see how that works out for him. Uh, let's actually go ahead and teleport down there to that. All right, let's see if we see any action out and around here. So we do have the ability to teleport. This thing is probably going to start to freak out a little bit as it's going to have to load up a bunch of textures and modules that it hasn't had to for a little while. Okay, looks like we took care of the one guy there in pretty short order. All right, we got some bugs going on there. So now let's take a look real quick through the research. All I've done is teleportation because that's really all I was really concerned with at the time. Uh, I definitely want to get into some of these mods, but for right now, teleportation was it, and we've made it to the last one. All right, so I've had money uh, over at the HQ to take care of this stuff, but unfortunately, you can see he's hit a snag right here at the very end. I'm not sure if he ran out of storage space or if he ran out of money or what, but I'll take care of that at some point. But essentially, this is the end of the road. This last teleportation would give us the ultimate range so that we could go anywhere in the universe. Now, the good news is we're almost at that point anyway. From a Tikva's Choice 1, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. If we wanted to go down here to our wharf in cigar for the Cigars Pioneers, we could do that. We could teleport 
uh, down here to that. So we have a pretty extensive range, so I'm not too terribly worried about that last teleportation. Same thing here, if I wanted to hop over to the HQ, we can do that. So as far as I'm concerned, the mission on teleportation is for the most part done. There might be somewhere we can't go. Can we jump all the way over to, nope, we can't jump to the Talati station, but we can pretty much go wherever we want and wherever we need to go. All right, so let's go ahead while I am thinking about this. Um, and let's talk a little bit about where we're going to go with Tides of Avarice. So if you watched my video on one of the game starts available there, you saw Black Hole Sun. Okay, so this is where Black Hole Sun is located on the normal game map. The, uh, the game map that includes the Cradle of Humanity DLC, but not the Split DLC. I do not have that activated on this particular uh, playthrough, but this appears to be where Tides of Avarice is going to take us. Some right in here, uh, and maybe, who knows, maybe a little bit over in here as well. I'm not exactly sure because on purpose, I have not unlocked all of those things because I want us to discover a lot of this together when the official release happens for the Tides of Avarice. But again, this is Black Hole Sun down in here, and so I'll be watching this area. We're going to look in the, for Tides of Avarice. We're going to be looking in this area. Uh, we've got 18 billion right here. There's probably going to be ways for us to get from Black Hole Sun into the Tides of Avarice areas, as well as 18 billion, and my guess is Silent Witness as well. But again, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to just use this area of the map or maybe some of these areas up top. And of course, I know some of you probably already know the answer to that question uh, because there are other creators out there who are doing much more extensive uh, use of the beta for Tides of Avarice, but I'm staying away from it because I want us to discover those things here together in this series, and that can't happen until the DLC is officially released because I don't really want to mess up our save files for anything like that. So let's come back over to a Tikva's Choice. Uh, I want to get back in on the action. Let's hop aboard this particular carrier right here. Uh, where is teleport to? There we go. All right, so we're going to hop back in. I'm going to give the game a second to start loading some things in. All right, there we go. So now let's hop over. I'm going to try to stay out of your way if it'll let me move. There we go. So now we're back aboard the carrier. You can see some of the fighters are coming back in here to be stored. Okay, so all appears to be pretty quiet. There's the super highway just in front. Uh, in fact, there you can see our defense station in the background. So let's actually come back out and take a look at where we are with that defense station right now. Let's zoom down here a little bit. All right, let's go to plan build. And here we go. So right now you can see, in fact, it looks like um, are we done with all, we are done with all of these okay that's awesome so you can see where we are I've gotten a second tier here that we're starting so we've done a little bit of work here with a, a second tier on all of these areas and then again out front because remember this is the direction in fact you can see it there that's where all of the, uh, the xenon are coming from so let's go ahead and continue expanding with this a little bit. Let's go with defense modules and we are going to keep with the same general pattern here. Alright, let's go disk and let's go ahead and edit the loadout. Now I don't have any predetermined loadouts uh, really here so we're just going to go ahead first thing we're going to do is zoom out just a little bit. I do love the look of where we are so far with this defense station, but we're going to go ahead and expand a little bit uh, here in today's video. So let's go ahead with, uh, let's go, do we want to go plasma or pulse? Let's do plasma and then just run that all the way through all 10. Of course, if you're wondering, the 10 are both on top as well as underneath here. So that's where those 10 are hiding. And then we're going to go the argon shields, all four. Okay, so that's the large turret groups. Uh, and then here, let's go ahead with the bolt on the first medium. 
Uh, down here, where do we want to go? I think we want to go with the Terran shields. I think that's what I'm going to go here. Alright, so we're just going to continue to go bolts. And we're going to go Terran shield. And then here, we're going to go a little bit of flak. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of flak in these. Now, the flak I use primarily to shoot down the fighters. So... Uh, we don't need too many of those because obviously our ships are going to take care of most of that. But I'm trying to increase our firepower as much as we can. Alright, so that. Let's go ahead and zoom back over here. Right. Uh oh, wait a minute, hold on now. Right, let's jump back, jump back out of here. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, that's. Yep, they sent some stuff through. Looks like our own uh, turrets were actually shooting our ship there for a moment. Uh, that's not good. Friendly fire. All right, so you can see uh, there you see one of the larger weapons in there. So yeah, they've they're starting to send in some guys through here to sort of feel things out, and I'm getting excited. I know this could definitely lead to uh, the destruction of a lot of our ships, but I mean, come on, how could you not be excited about this type of uh, space fight? These space battles. This is on a very small scale, by the way. They're not sh sending through very many ships. And uh, this kind of stuff gets me excited. So let's just hop back out to the map. All right, see one guy here. And it looks like that's it. So they're probably going to lay waste to him pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, the large and extra large ships will not be laying waste to any fighters. Not with those weapons. Okay, things have calmed down for a moment at least. So let's come back down. All right, I do think I got that saved. Oh, let's see, let's hop back over here. Okay, yeah, it's still showing it here. Good. Oh, yep, we're fighting again. I like it. All right, let's make sure we get that one. So we're just going to do a few modifications here. This one's going to be pulse. So our last one was plasma. Now we're going to do the pulse. And that's 10 of those, which I absolutely love. Okay, so we did the bolt last time. I'm going to do uh, more plasma this time. We're going to stick with the Terran shields. Plasma once again. I mean, ultimately, we want this to be a big time uh, defense station. We want this to be extremely powerful in our fight against the Xenon because at some point we are going through that gate to try to take the fight to them and possibly set up another one of these stations on the other side uh, to keep them from even coming through but we're a bit away from that and of course the Tides of Avarice DLC coming up soon we've got that to think about as well okay so one thing that is definitely uh, going to happen here is that these are pretty close now what I'm counting on here is that we're not going to get tons of friendly fire that actually counts against us I'm counting on the game sort of being a little bit helpful here uh, and having our own guns and turrets not shoot through uh, our own defenses and causing a lot of damage who knows we'll have to find out uh, this will be the first time that I've really done one to this extent uh, let's see, where do we want to go here? Do I want to go back to the bolt? Do we want to do plasma? Uh, let's go back to the bolts here. All right, so we want to do a few more of these. All right, there we go. Let's do a few more bolts. And then I'm going to do one more flak here on this particular one. Okay, so it looks like we lost our builder as well. I didn't notice that the first time through. So right now, this is me just having tons and tons of fun with this. Trying to get as much as I can get done here before the Tides of Avarice DLC are released. And you guys are probably going to see this video uh, either the day of release or within a day or two before or after, depending on how everything works out. 
uh, in my release schedule. So yeah, it should be very close on the release date for the DLC and when you guys are seeing this video. Again, haven't worked out the exact release schedule just yet. It'll depend on how much recording I can get done before that happens. So we'll see. Okay, so there's a few more there. Uh, and again, we can always, for those of you who might be newer to the X series, this box that we're in, uh, this is what we have actually purchased. This is what we paid for, but we can always expand this. We can go back and expand that. So this is by no means done. I just want to get a few layers done here to get uh, as many turrets as I can. And of course, shields that come with that. Okay, I like it. So let's go ahead and confirm those changes. And let's assign a builder, assuming, of course, that we can find one nearby. Uh, so I'm going to be watching the top of the screen here to see... Okay, there's one. I don't know where he's at, but I don't guess we care, do we? Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase him, uh, or at least lease him for a little while. All right, we got some more fighting. All right, so what's going on out here? Let's take a look at the map. Again, they're just sending through a few here and there, so not a whole lot is, is happening. All right, I also want to take a quick look. All right, now here's where I've been having some issues. Uh, some of these controls have been a little bit wonky here lately. All right, so let's just look at our fleets. All right, so we've still got one extra large ship, two large vessels in each of these fleets, and then we got 21, 20, 20, and 20. Okay, so that's good. So we're looking very good there. At some point, I do want to add more to this. I want to do. I want to get more extra large. I want to get more large ships. But right now, we're having a parts shortage in the universe. I believe if we want to bring it into real terms, they're having supply chain issues. <laughs> if you've been hearing that a lot lately on TV, that's what we're having here in the X universe right now. So I'm sticking mostly to the small and medium size uh, ships. But so far, everything is looking very good. And you can see these guys are just going to immediately destroy this guy. He didn't even, he hardly got out here, had a chance to look around before he's getting destroyed. So again, I'm over here. I'm kind of waiting for the next Zen K to come through. And that's when business is really going to pick up. And we're going to figure out just how good a defense is we have over here because right now we're destroying these guys as they come through but of course we easily know why that's happening now let's talk about something else that is a huge opportunity over here and I've touched on this a little bit in the past videos but this is something that I really want to do uh, moving forward and that is there's a whole lot of space debris out here that we can make money on so I am gonna want to get into the scrap business a little bit more. We've already got the scrap over at, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice. So we're going to want to get into the scrap business a little bit more seriously over here. And so I'm probably going to be putting um, another station either right over in this area, perhaps right over in here. Uh, again, heavily defended, much like our defense grid here but at the same time have a lot of scrap business we're going to have uh s several scrap ships over here to take advantage of all of this another thing i'm planning on doing here uh very shortly if we can get down here to it is our terran wharf so if we actually hop into plan a build here so right now what you guys are seeing is that we have a ton of storage and then we have a few bombs, and then of course our fabrication bay. And right now, only real one defense platform because where we're located, it's not an issue. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I did put a couple more down here, didn't I? So what I want to do in the future is I want to add these three to the grid. All right, and these are if I pull these out, you can see these are pretty good size. Uh, if we attach them onto the side there, not too bad. Uh, they're not going to take up a huge amount of room. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding some more storage and we're going to want to add each three of these. So let's take a look at where we want 
to add these guys. I'm seeing uh, we can add them here to the front on either side. We can definitely do that. Um, or I can add some uh, pieces, some connection pieces down here to the bottom and do some down here. I'm liking that idea a little bit better. So let's go ahead and let's find those. Let's see, the other modules. Uh, let's go ahead and do the cross. All right, let's see how this is going to work out. All right, uh, we want you to go there. If I can get you to fit on there. Why are you not fitting on there? All right, that's the real key here. So you'll fit there. I wonder if that's because of the type of module. Oh, that's weird, though. But I can put them there. That is very weird that we cannot fit those down here. Okay, so we may have to just go with that. I'm gonna put probably a couple of these on either side. Yeah, very weird. I'm sure there's something I'm missing that is an obvious choice as to why this isn't happening. Um, but right now it is a bit of a mystery to me. <laughs> so for those of you who are out there screaming at your screen at the, uh, so the thing I'm missing right now, uh, don't worry about it. It'll happen more often the longer you stick around. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go back to our production modules. Now, I don't have any particular uh, design in play for this, so what I'm simply going to do is add one of each of these to each side, and that's how I'm going to start this off. All right, so let's go ahead and try to figure out which way, which order I did this in this time. For those of you who care about such things. Okay, now that looks a little bit odd. Uh, but what I'll do from there is probably come back to this. And we'll move down the side. I may need to expand here a little bit. Okay, so as we need to... Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that way. In fact, um, i tell you what. I don't really like that. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's get, let's get out of there. And I'm going to come back in. Because after taking a look at that... Alright, let's actually do this a little bit different. Instead, I'm going to put one of these on either side. Then we're going to come back to these other modules. And I'm going to drop one of these. I didn't like that we were so close to the barrier there. Uh, so I'm going to actually do that a little bit different. Now, okay, now let's see if we can get things back going again. All right, so we did the silicon carbide. Let's get those on the side here. All right, now let's see if... Oh, yeah, that gives us plenty of room to add those on. So now I'm going to simply add the uh, the substrate onto the end here. And then that'll give us room uh, to start adding in more modules in this space. And we can go out a little bit easier. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more of these cross modules right on the edge. Okay, I like that. So that gives me two of each of these modules. Now I'm going to eat, need to add some storage space um, if I can. I didn't like that so much before. Let's see if it likes it uh, more now. Alright, so how does that look if we do that? We just sort of come out on the side here and do a little bit of that. I'm just going to go ahead and add four more of these. Alright, so now I also want to do, because we're going to do production, we're also going to need... Uh, I know we need solid for sure. Do we also need... I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of solid out here. I'm going to do two solids should be enough. I don't even know if we need liquid, but I'm going to drop a couple of these liquid. Yeah. 
I'm going to add two liquid out there. And, okay, I think that should be good. Now, I could have balanced those a little bit better, but I'm trying to leave a little bit room of room here. Uh, let's actually move this guy. Uh, because I want to leave a little bit of room here for expansion as well. Okay, that balances things a little bit better than the way we had them before. It also gives us a couple of liquid, a couple of storage, and then a lot more container. Now, we don't really need any of this production right now, but going forward, depending on what we find in the Tides of Avarice with the new uh, shady dealings that we're likely to have in the universe, uh, we might need a lot more ships, and this production is going to, I believe, uh, give us the capability to, uh, to essentially print unlimited ships. Okay, now I have not put any... Uh, turrets or any anything really on these things. I'm gonna save that until a little bit later on I'm gonna go ahead and confirm here So we can hire a builder and let's try to get this up and running. Okay. Do we have any builders? Yeah, there we go Okay, so yeah, we got a couple right there. So let's go ahead and select that guy Okay, I like that I like that uh, so one thing I did not take into account and I'm sure uh, a lot of you who have worked extensively with the uh, the Terran uh, economy probably were uh, realizing this as I went through. All I did was I put two of each of these modules in there. I did not try to balance them out because I'm sure it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. But again, this will accomplish what we need to accomplish for now. And we also have plenty of room here uh, to do more work in the future, more expansions, even beyond expanding the actual uh, limitations that we currently have. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and close that. Actually, we're going to leave that open for a moment. So our ships should start taking care of that. Uh, but what we're going to do, we've got five million here that I generally keep something close to that. Ooh station has been using quite a bit so let's go ahead let's get that map to about five million uh, let's go ahead and put about five million in here as well now the estimate I don't worry too much about because that's assuming that we're gonna purchase everything a lot of this will be purchased by our own ships so I'm gonna confirm both of those okay good now I need to come back over to uh, let's see, where are we here? We need to come back over to a ticket's choice. And what do we have here? A whole lot of commotion, but still not a lot going on. They're still just sending through a few at a time. Okay, so let's come back over to this one. All right, the station account doesn't need much in it. Station construction, I'm going to add a little bit more. Not necessarily for right now so much. As, as I continue to expand, it'll leave us... A little bit extra in there now I do have a little bit more in the account here because I'm currently trying to uh, get more repair drones over here all right so we've gotten uh, a good bit done today and we covered some things that I really wanted to cover we talked a little bit about where we are in our research and how much more we've got to do we're only touching the surface on the research and then of course we saw a little bit of small scale action over here you can see just very small scale as the xenon have not begun to send uh, the zen case through it doesn't look like at this point but yeah anytime I can uh, see a space battle unfortunately for me I'm not terribly good at uh, being a part of them but those sounds there's just something about those sounds and just seeing that now I'm excited to get our salvage operation up and running over here in the area but we'll talk about that more when we get back together next time so for today that's going to do it hope you guys are really enjoying the gameplay series and i hope you guys are as excited as i am to get going with the tides of avarice dlc Explosion imminent.